Hey, groups. Uh, it is so good to see you guys. I can't believe it. We have made it to the year 2021. Uh, it has been a crazy year, and we're so excited to start this year with you guys in groups. Um, and this year, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the book of Proverbs as a church, going through uh, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, and just slowly moving through all this different wisdom that comes out of the book of Proverbs. So um, I hope you got a chance to take a look at this week's teaching from Eric. If you didn't get a chance to, maybe go back and look at that because it really sets the stage for what's going to be happening in the book of Proverbs, and I think that's really important. But there's a lot of wisdom that comes out of this book, and that is going to be what we're going to be spending our time in on groups, especially this week. So um, to start you guys off, though, for the icebreaker question, what was your favorite road trip and why did you love that road trip? Um, for me, I love road trips. I've gone on a lot of them. I love driving on road trips in particular. Um, there's many of them where you're like driving all night long and you get to 3 or 4 a.m. and you're like, I need to stop driving or something bad is going to happen, right? We're thinking of all those things. I would love to hear and I'd love to have you guys talk about with your group, what is a road trip that you just love to be on? All right, question number one in our discussion questions. Uh, when you hear the word proverb, what do you think of? What do you think the word proverb means? All right, question number two. I'm going to give you guys a few like statements, and um, I want you to quick think about them a minute. The first one's, start your children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. That's, that's number one. Number two, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. That's number two. And number three, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Did you realize that all of those statements, all of those sayings actually come from the book of Proverbs? Um, does your school or your workplace, have you ever heard those sayings outside of the church? What, what context have you heard those sayings in? Or maybe there's other Proverbs that you have heard about. How do you hear about those things outside of the church world? Question number three, um, Eric, during his teaching, explained what a proverb is not. Um, he said a proverb is not a life hack. How can understanding that, how can understanding that the proverb is not a life hack um, help you study and understand this book a little bit better? All right, now we're in the middle of the questions. I want you to quick step out of the questions and quickly read from Proverbs 1, verse 1 through 7, um, and then answer this question. When you need advice, who do you go to? Um, and also, why do you go to them for that advice? And question number five, what do you think the writer means when he says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge? Um, your leaders will have a few more verses to look at that talk about the fear of the Lord. Um, so take a look at those verses and have some conversations, conversations about what that means. All right, here's our last question, and these are things that I actually want you to do if you answer them. So be careful how you answer because I want to make you do them. What does it mean in your life to continue to gain wisdom and instruction? That, that's the end of that proverb there that we just read. What does it mean to continue to gain wisdom and instruction? How can you do that in your life? And maybe have someone in your group hold you accountable to some of those things.
All right, groups, that is all we have for our discussion questions. If you got some time and want to dive into our digging deeper section, I would really encourage you to do it. Uh, because as we're looking at Proverbs, uh, one thing I've questioned and wondered is like, what is the difference between wisdom and knowledge? Because oftentimes we think of those as the same thing, like someone who's wise is someone who's knowledgeable. But those aren't actually always in line. Someone who has a lot of knowledge may not be a wise person and may not be someone to look to. Uh, we're going to ask some of those questions and have some scripture passages for you to dive into a little bit deeper in there. So if you got some time and want to answer that question together, um, do that. Otherwise, we will see you guys next week.